engine are in. Uh, I've painted them with the interiors with uh, Vallejo metal color burnt iron. This is I use that color a lot for the inside of the engines. It's acrylic, um, but it airbrushes all right. That one. I uh, put in the the auxiliary units. They're painted up. I'll have to put a bit of sponge in there to mask, uh, to mask them for a paint. Uh, the intakes done, cleaned up. Like I said, I use the uh, Tamiya white putty, let it dry overnight, and just sand it back. Uh, to get at difficult areas like that, I just cut up bits of sponge, sanding sponge, and hold it with the tweezers and just work it inside best you can. There's no real easy way to do it. You wouldn't use if you got sanding sticks, skinny sanding sticks. That that's a flory one. He doesn't make them anymore apparently. So I guess it's limited edition. Uh, made up the stabilizer the vertical stabilizer uh, still got clear part to go in on a bit on the point the rudder just pushes in it's a single piece part that's the compressor intake fan uh, AK extreme metal dark aluminium I painted that with uh, and I started putting the wing upper wing on fit really well uh, you put the wing tip on first, clips in, there's a groove for it, slot, just clips in nicely. And then the uh, main wing goes in on over that. It uh, fits overall really well, then you just glue it on, but really uh, pretty good engineering, the way they've, many have done it. So far, so good. Uh, intakes are in. Uh, from memory, I don't think Phantoms are tail sitters. But I put some lead in there just in case. Instructions don't call for it, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything either. Sometimes they don't tell you, but it's not in the way of anything and it doesn't hurt, just in case. The next, the uh, upper fuselage is going to go on. So we can see we got tabs on the wing wings that will fit through and there's uh, locating pins on the nose and there's some uh, slots um, this is just dry fit all So it sits in pretty good. I've done. I did this earlier to have a look. There's, here there seems to be a bit of a goes, but you got to give it a bit of force. So I'll have to check that again before I glue it. See if there's something going on. Same this side. No, our nose is all right, but there yeah, back here there seems to be a. I've checked that, but otherwise it's pretty good. There might be a bit of a... Uh, might need a smidge of putty in there when it's all said and done, but we'll see. Um, so that's the next step. And I've started painting up the... Well, I have painted the intakes. I've got to give them a gloss clear coat that I'll put on together, and then they'll go on after the fuselage is on. All right, we're starting to look like a phantom now. All right, so wings on. Uh, intakes went on good. They fit well. They're nice and flush. There's a tiny gap there. Just a touch of perfect plastic putty in there. And then this one, this size is a little bit bigger, but a bit of putty will clean that up. Uh, I think... Oh, Mang have 
moulded it part of the way it's following panel lines but this section here I don't think that's a natural panel line in the aircraft so I'm gonna like there is fine but I think from the scoop there to there and from there forward I'll putty that up and take that seam line out uh, don't do what I did and put the so I put the tail piece in after I had the fuselage onto the wings you're supposed to put it on uh, to the upper fuselage before you put it onto the wings but it, it still went in alright it was no drama but um, it's supposed to go in before the only thing I found with this is the metal section has got part of the uh, engine cover of the skin there's a gap where it goes up against the upper fuselage now if you glued it and pushed it in to get rid of the gap you would take away uh, the alignment on the hit the flush surface like that it would have been a step so I went for the flat the area there and I'll just put a bit of putty in there it's not that big of a deal um, and the vertical stabilizer went in no troubles so uh, yeah, making good progress I'll uh, clean up these seam lines where I want to now that'll be next so that'll be uh, some putty on them and let it dry overnight before I clean it up but yeah this that's gotten gotten this far in three sessions which is pretty good going I think it's the actual aircraft's just about to get it now it's all the small stuff now so yeah we're making good progress Thank <laughs> you.